In my opinion, these are six things FIFA 23 Ultimate Team needs to have, otherwise it's going to end up dead like FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. First things first, I think what really killed FIFA 22 super fast was that we were getting such a high volume of uh, promo cards at such a high rate. I mean, you think about any promo, Scream, Headliners, uh, you know, Foot Fantasy, any promo you can think of that happened this year, we legit got like two teams with about 15 players in each team. That's a ridiculous amount of cards that were coming out every single week and it was just causing the market to die so much. In my opinion, I think, you know, maybe one promo Promo, two promos a month with just one team running for one week would help a, a lot to be honest sometimes when we have so many cards out at the same time there's so much to do people can get a little overwhelmed there's not enough time in the day for most people I know for myself I do have a, a you know a regular job so it's kind of hard for me to keep up and grind for all these SBCs that are coming out so I think reducing the amount of promo cards that we have would be a huge help because honestly some promos didn't really need to happen. If I asked you to name me eight players, eight players from the Fire versus Ice promo, you would not be able to do it. That just that just goes to show how many cards were out this year that just didn't need to be out that kind of ruined the market. Second thing I can think of is, I feel like this is something that EA could definitely do, but they haven't done up, uh, to date, is provide us with quicker content updates. And by that, I mean, let's say for example, right? The Gritty, the Gritty Celebration. That's something that they just added into FIFA 23 coming up. But I feel like that definitely could have came as an update in FIFA 22 when the celebration first happened. Because from when the first from when the celebration first happened in, in real life, the FIFA 23, it, it kind of dies, right? There's not as much hype around it. But I feel like if, let's say, the gritty happened, let's say there's a new celebration that a player hits, you know, in September. We're not going to get that celebration in the game until next year. But I'm sure EA could easily just have someone act it out in Vancouver and add it into the game in the next update. I'm sure it is that simple. I feel like that's something we need to see from EA. It kind of keeps the game fresh. There's new things coming up um, that don't really affect the market, don't affect the players. Just something fun that I feel like could keep people engaged. Because you know, if you see something in real life, it's bound to come out in the game as well. Next thing I would love to see in FIFA 23 is even more retro kits. We saw this year that EA did the thing where they dropped a bunch of retro kits in the uh, store at one time. They had, I believe, Dortmund, City, uh, Liverpool, amongst a bunch of other ones. I feel like they could definitely do more. Obviously, they're limited to some clubs as they have exclusive deals with Pez, such as, you know, Manchester United. But I feel like they could definitely do more, maybe some retro, uh, you know, international kits with the World Cup coming up. I think that would be absolutely dope to see. I would love to rock a retro Mexico jersey, uh, you know, this upcoming coming uh, FIFA but of course that is a little bit more limited because of you know licensing rights and etc etc but I feel like it's something they could do but they're kind of holding back on for whatever reason the next thing I would love to see and the community has been crying out for for years is a better informed system every week we get crap ton of informs I believe it's 23 players but at most only two or three of them are actually useful and the rest end up being fodder or whatever SPC is out at the time. I feel like that is a huge miss out on EA. Then leads to people not wanting to play weekly because they know that the, the rewards they're playing for suck. If EA had a better system where obviously, yes, you're limited to the players that actually perform well in real life, but if maybe they gave slightly better boost instead of just a plus one or, you know, a plus two, let's say Leon Bailey, right? From Aston Villa. Let's say Leon Bailey does the same thing. Gets the ball from the halfway line, crazy run, scores it, bangs it top. Corner. Then you can you're able to give him let's say a plus three in his pace, a plus three in his shooting, which makes him a lot more usable, right? Whereas in the past, if he does that, he gets a plus one and a plus one, which isn't really to use for anybody, right? No one cares about a plus one on Leon Bailey. But if you give him a plus three and a plus three, you're more likely to use him. And that's not as bad as using that's not as bad as giving people you know these crazy promo cards because Leon Bailey isn't gonna do that week in week out. You know he's gonna become a more usable player quicker, but he won't die off because there's not gonna be as many promo cards. I feel like EA definitely need to redo the inform system. I know they tried out doing the featured team of the week which did help a little bit but there's definitely a lot of room for improvement so I, that's something I definitely love to see in, uh, in the next FIFA. 
The next thing, I think EA need to get creative with their weekend leagues. We do see it every now and then where they'll have a one league only or one nation only uh, weekend league. In my opinion, they need to do it maybe once or twice a month. You know, I'm all, at the minimum at least once a month. I think it keeps things fresh. Personally, I'm someone who plays FIFA all year. I played FIFA every single month. I don't think I've really missed many promos, but I think I only played a weekend league about four times. You know, part of that is due to rewards. Part of that is because they just get so repetitive. You know, you're having to play, you're having to play so many games in a row every week. It's just, it's it's not it's not fun because you're just doing the same thing over and over again but if you know ea do a silver a silver team only weekend league let's say at the beginning of the year and then like halfway through the year they do a french only or let's say they do a, you know portuguese only or premier league only i think that adds a little bit of you know dynamic i think that adds a little bit to the weekend league system in my opinion they could also release up a specific league upgrades sbc that week that way you're not stuck having to buy players for ridiculous prices having those sbc will would definitely help that a lot i know some people are against that because they think you know if I have the, my meta players, why shouldn't I be able to use them? I think with FIFA, it's definitely become way too over competitive at a casual level. They have throwing in that weekly every now and then keeps it fun and keeps it fresh. Last but not least, guys, I think the biggest thing that EA needs to add uh, into the next FIFA, and this is something that affects everyone in the community when we are looking to grind for objectives is that when your opponent rage quits at 0-0, zero, zero, you need to get the win. EA, it does not make sense that if I am dominating the game and it's tied and my opponent leaves because he knows he's outmatched, then I should not get punished by the game pretty much not counting at all. Now, of course, there's a chance that maybe your opponent just disconnects, but at that point, might as well just give me the free win, right? Give, give, give the player who stayed the whole time has been trying his hardest give him the win it's this is this was especially rampant in the weekend league as well as in objectives people would load up or as soon as you know they they saw your team they would just quit right away um, in objectives it was especially a pain in the butt because people would wait until the second half or until halftime wasting so much of your time when if they quit and you get the win that's a win-win i guess because for your opponent they're leaving they're able to find an easier match but for yourself you're getting the win and you're not wasting your time and then having to find another match and then you you end up getting an opponent who does the same thing over and over again those are my thoughts on the on what i want to see for fifa 23 obviously guys these are just my opinions as well as things that i've seen from other creators um, generally speaking i feel like these are kind of things we've been wanting to see in fifa for a long time but we still just have it for whatever reason let me know down in the comments below if you agree with me or what you would like to see if you disagree with me please let me know your thoughts i try to keep everything you know as realistic as possible obviously we're not going to be able to get you know crazy changes because the game's pretty much the game is coming out next month so i'm trying to keep it to things that we could realistically see but haven't been announced or you know made public but that being said guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and peace out